Tom Trevor Production. Settle, baby. Make if you Marie. want to, cause you're safe with me, so just stay with me home. Hey y'all, hopefully y'all can see me. So, we got our day started a little late. Um, I stayed up waiting for Dominique again. We didn't go to bed till about, literally, <laughs> um, six, seven o'clock. We were up playing, I was up playing on my phone when he came home, looking up like healthy smoothie drinks, like for, uh, to get extra fiber, to get um, some protein, and like fertility, fertility, uh, like some fertility smoothies you can make. And even though you guys know that Dominique, as we made a video before about it, Dominique can't have kids, I mean, I'm not going to lose hope that he will be able to. I'm just going to keep praying about it because I know a lot of doctors tell you you can never have kids and... Then it happens, even though his chances are really slim. I'm still going to make some smoothies for the both of us. Um, he got a couple doctor's appointments coming up. And I don't know. They have this surgery you can get done, men, where the doctor, you could go to the doctor and they'll basically check. They can actually slice, you know, the guy's scrotum open and they can actually check if he has any viable sperm and then they could go on to take that sperm, freeze it or whatever, and they could like try to do IVF or something. So even though we are looking into foster care and stuff, I don't know, we, uh, he has an appointment with, you know, the urologist. I'm going to ask him, ask, the doc, ask him about it when he has that appointment next month and just see what I, see what he says or whatever. And, um, see about, maybe see how much that surgery is or something. I don't think his insurance will cover that, but you know, we'll still look into it. But, uh, yeah, I had to put some lotion on my face. My face been getting so dry lately. Ooh, something got in my eye. My, my face has been getting so dry that, like, right around this area, I'm always having, I don't know if you guys noticed in some of my videos, I'm always having, like, white <laughs> blotches right there. Like, my skin has gotten so dry that I get, like, these white blotches on my face. So I went to the dollar store the other day when I had to go to work, and I got this Nivea. It's, it's like, hand, face and body cream but I use it on my face mainly but uh yeah I'm sitting here Dominique went inside the bank go cash his check we're gonna run a couple of errands and then uh we have we're going to the movies at like four I think there's two movies we're gonna either go see some guy was just staring at me by like what the heck is she doing but uh the two movies that we have the choice of I'll show you guys is um, one movie is uh, Neighbors 2 because we saw one that was really hilarious and then the other one is Money Monster with um, Julia Roberts and um, I can't even think of his name right now but everybody loves him you know Hollywood hunk hey y'all uh, so there's a Costco across the street here. Went over there, got my husband a polo sausage, got me a pizza. It's only a dollar ninety nine for a big old slice of pizza. His his was like a dollar something. Piece of, a piece of no, babe, you had yours. Oh. And then um, we're we're at the movies. I'm eating real quick because you know they always show commercials. So the movie started at four fifteen. It says, but at first they show commercials. So we're not missing nothing right now. And it hasn't. It's not even. It's barely about to be four. But uh. Since I always use my Regal card, we can get a free small popcorn today. So once I'm done, we got to go up to the little snack part and go get our free popcorn. Then we can go watch our movie. We're going to see the movie Money Monster. And I finally remember the name of both people. It's Julia Roberts and George Clooney. And it looked like a good movie from the previews. So we're going to go see that today. We decided on it. I got the tickets. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm about to eat this beautiful giant slice of pizza for $1.99 from Costco. They, luckily they have it outside because we don't have a Costco card, but I need to get one because I want to start buying things in bulk. But alright guys, I gotta eat my pizza because he over here eating my pepperoni so he already had
probably kind of dark in here, but I just wanted to say a couple words before I go to sleep here. Um, well, after we went to the movies, we went back to, um, went back to, um, Costco. My husband got another polar sausage. Then we went to my best friend's house real quick, talked to her for a second, and then we came to the house, and I started gathering our laundry together, because we have a laundry to do. I start cleaning out our closet, cleaning out our room, and after we do our laundry tomorrow, once we wash all those clothes, we're going to go through all the clothes and whatever we whatever we don't wear anymore, we're going to donate. Some of the stuff I think is trash. Like, you wouldn't want to give that to somebody else. I think a couple things we need. It's a lot of clothes. And we need more hangers, too. But um, we went to go try to do laundry tonight. But now, when we lived in Oceanside, they had places that were open. Like, they had this one place open for 24 hours. Out here, they're closed at, like, 10 o'clock. And there's one close at 12 but or 11. It's further away. Like, the ones closest to us, like, we went to, like, three different ones. They all said 10 o'clock. So, they open, there's one by our house that opens at 6 in the morning up the street. So, we're going to go there. I'm about to go lay down. It's about 10. It's 10.30 right now. I'm about to go lay down, get some sleep, because we're going to get up at 6, go do some laundry. And then when we come to the house, later on, go through it all. My husband has a bunch of like suit, like outfits that his sister gave him that she got from somewhere. And I'm going to have him go through it all and see what he's actually going to wear. Wash it later and um, donate it because he hasn't worn it. It's been sitting in the bag. And um, I went through everything. And so I told him, whatever you're not going to wear, we're going to donate it because we need to get rid of this, some of this stuff. I need more clothes. He has a whole bunch of clothes. Like I was going through all of our clothes in the closet and it was mainly his clothes. <laughs> I had just a few things, and I was like, okay, I really need to do some. I used to have a lot of stuff, but I haven't had a lot of things in a while. So I really need to go shopping, like, set me some money aside and just really go shopping. Like, give me some stuff from Fashion Nova, maybe do a little bit of hauls or something. And then tomorrow is our big day, guys. Tomorrow we have to go down to the um, foster care office where we're, our agency and tomorrow is our uh, psychological test and interview. And we have to be there for, she said, two to three hours. I think we have to go there about 2.30. Obviously, I can't film while I'm inside, but I may film a little bit while we're on our way there. And then once we do everything, I may talk a little bit about it, like make a video about it, a sit-down video, tell it, like saying a couple things of what they, what we can say, you know? Basically what they were testing us about or something. But uh, I'm excited. Pray for us, guys. Just pray that we pass this, whatever they're going to ask or whatever they're going to have us do. Just pray that we pass it and that we can become foster parents. Because we've been trying to become parents the old-fashioned way. I told you guys I'm trying. To, I'm going to start taking fertility smoothies just in case anyway. And as you guys know, we have a, a pack and play we got at the swap meet. It was in the bedroom, but it was like stuck in the bed, like on the side of the bed. So I picked it up. And I brought it into the living room, so it's sitting right over there. You see it? It's sitting right there. And um, I've got a couple things in it. Like, we got to stock up. Um, but I have a couple things. Now, these little cute shoes, okay? We were at the Dollar Tree, and they had these in there for a dollar. Aren't these adorable? I, I'm like, I had to get these. They were, they're a size, I think these are a size one. They had the size somewhere, or... Something like that, guys. But these are so cute. I was like, I have to get these. They're uh, zero to three months. So adorable. I got these two bottles, but um, they say that they're for zero months. But I still, I know a lot of people say Browns bottles are the best bottles to get. Um, I got this. It's what to expect before you're expecting, just in case we do be able to, uh, you know, maybe do IVF or the old-fashioned way. Got like these little pack of baby washcloths. I've got a burp cloth here. This little cute outfit I got at um. Uh oh. I don't know where this little this little clip came from, but a uh, little ribbon fell off of something. But I got this cute little outfit at this little baby store. Like they resell clothes. Little cute little monkey outfit with the feet. 
my best friend gave this to me. This is actually my godson's onesie. He's eight now. This is his onesie from when he was a baby. And it says, who needs Santa? I've got grandparents. She gave me this. And this I got at a yard sale on Camp Pendleton when me and my sister-in-law used to go there because she, her and my brother, was having a, they were having a little girl. So me and her would go up there and get all the stuff. I haven't seen her because she moved out of state, but she's supposed to be coming to visit in October. And I finally get to see my niece. So, yeah, that's that. And then I got this blanket at the do Dollar Tree. Isn't it cute? I got that. So, my, um, I had a, let me tell you guys, I had a whole baby stock. Like, I had a bunch of baby stuff. And when my sister-in-law found out she was pregnant, because we were all roommating together, I gave it all to her. Like, I had two tummy time mats. Like, one was a big one with, like, toys to play with. There was a small one. There was all kind of big, I had a bunch of onesies, because, like, when I worked at Sears Outlet, you know, they had that point, they have that point system, and, like, everybody used to give me their free points, and I got, like, like, at least most of the stuff, my baby stuff, was free, because I used other people's points, I used my points, like, I had a bunch of points, and sometimes they would give you points, and then sometimes, I mean, when I first started working there, they would let you get free items, but eventually they stopped doing that for employees, but... Yeah, guys, so I have this. It's Winnie the Pooh. So this would be the pack and play. It's real cute. Got the little, you can just spin that there. So that would be Winnie the Pooh. And I put it out here because I was actually watching, um, I can't remember her name. I'm going to put it, her name um, probably in the video here. I can't think of her name right now, but I'm going to go look at her channel. But she actually is a single woman. And she fostered. Her, I can't her show you guys if we do get an infant or something. I cannot show you guys the baby, but I may show you like some cute things I get them or something. And I can't Pray say their names. Guys. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye.